the sweep stuck. Yeah. He wants to get out. See? <laughs> you want to get out, Moose? I don't know if I should be doing this alone, but it's chill. What's up, guys? Today's going to be a little different. I am actually going to take a video to clean my room because I have let it get just so cluttered and it's not like dirty it's just cluttery and I have so many clothes that it's just like they're all clean and piled up and I haven't put them away so I thought I might make a video out of this because I can maybe show you some of my favorites as I'm putting them away I'm also going to be taking down that tapestry and I'm going to be putting up these I have one more and this one. Now I actually made these myself. I just got cardstock from I think Hobby Lobby got the frames either from there or Michaels and then I found whatever logos I wanted on them and printed it on a printer with the black ink. Um, so you can make the if you like those you can make them yourselves for I want to say I spent like $25, $30 tops. I'm making more, so it's not going to be a full collage yet. But I'm also going to be hanging, if I can show you, that antique white in the middle, I think. It, it has these like hooks on it. You can, um, you can hang like necklaces, or I think I'm going to do pictures on like little, I'm sorry the lighting's really bad. I'm like directly under a light right now. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try and put maybe some photos up there. And this shirt, I'm going to change. I don't, this shirt's not working for me right now. This is so much better. It's so much comfier. Okay, now that that's taken care of. So, yeah, I'm going to put my clothes away. I'm going to take that tapestry down. I have these Christmas lights that's been burnt out for months that I have not taken down. And then I also have above my bed those curtains with Christmas lights behind those and those are actually burnt out too so I'm gonna be changing those ones out and what else yeah I'm just taking some once I put all these new clothes and shoes boxes away taking bags out of the room so I'll give you a little show of what I'm cleaning up first so first, we're taking care of that clean clothes pile. Oh my gosh, that's a full bin. That's just bin one. And then we got to get rid of those bags because ugh, those have been sitting there with new stuff in them forever. And then we're going to go... This is the closet. It is so packed in here. I need a bigger closet. This is insane. So, oh, and that Santa Claus, yeah, we got, my grandma got him for me yesterday for Christmas, and I'm like, it's too soon, grandma, but whatever, I like it. So, we got to find a place for him, and then we're taking that down, we're hanging that up, and this area is already clean, oh, there's a pink flamingo that's from my sister's bachelorette party, it was pretty fun. We went to Palm Springs, rented a house. For a weekend. Enough said. Anyways, back to cleaning. So, that is the plan today. Now that you've seen the mess I've made, don't judge me, okay? Alright, let's do this. Don't judge me, I'm listening to music. First thing I'm putting away, this jacket. And I'm actually going to make a look with it in one of my fashion videos coming up. Um, I got this from an LF, the LF store on the outlet in Studio City, so I'm trying to think, yeah, Studio City on Ventura Boulevard, oh my gosh. If you live in California, you guys are going there, you have to stop there. Because everything at the store is completely overpriced in my opinion. If you guys don't agree, I'm sorry, I just don't have that much money on my own to be spending. So um, I got this jacket that was originally $300 for $38. It's insane. It is um, by the, the brand's Melion and it has a fur rim on the collar. I don't know if it's real or fake, sorry. 
And then it's an asymmetrical zip in the front. Hold on, let me back up. It's just perfect. I love this coat for winter and fall. And the ends of the sleeves have this leather quilted detail. It's, let's see, yeah. It's amazing. Sorry the lighting's kind of crappy. There's so many, like, different lights in this room right now, so. But definitely one of my favorites. Okay, back to cleaning. These were in my video yesterday that I posted for my fall fashion of my week in fall fashion or outfits and um, you weren't able to see the detail on them so my cat hair is like all over them now but they have like that really cute detail all up down the leg and they're by Jimmy's so uh, they're really cute I bought them at a Kier, but it's only a Chicago store so maybe you can find the brand Jimmy's somewhere else but yeah and heads up, most of the items I'm going to show you are probably black, white, or gray, but mostly black and white. Very basic person when it comes to that. I'm not bold in colors, so just giving you a heads up. This is also a great fall must-have in my opinion. I also got this at the LF Outlet store on Ventura Boulevard in Studio City. It is White Closet is the brand and it's just like a thick knit cardigan and I've been like looking for these so again check that store out if you're in the area. probably wondering what 21 year old spends their Saturdays cleaning their room but um my boyfriend's out of town and all my friends kind of have jobs in school so what else is there to do uh anyways another one of my like favorite favorite things to wear to wear if they dress anything up you can dress them down it's, they're just amazing. Just leather leggings. I mean, I got these at a here again, Chicago store. But, I mean, honestly, like, you can find leather leggings anywhere. But I think they're must have to have it in your closet. At least in my wardrobe, it goes with everything. So, or they do. doing this I should tell you on all my clothes I use the huggable velvet hangers I am so, it gets me so mad when I hang all my clothes up and I was using plastic hangers and all my clothes would fall off or just fall on the ground and then my cat hair would be on like no huggable hangers are definitely the way to go I got I think they're 30 packs at Costco and I think they were like 20 bucks like 10 or 12, maybe 15 dollars so um i mean you can get them at target you can get them in container store i think you can get them at multiple places but i definitely re recommend blah 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 i can't talk recommend them of this because it's one of my biggest it's it's just such a stupid purchase in my mind if you guys disagree with me let me know but with my experiences with this brand and other brands 
this is why I feel this way. So these are just a pair of Lululemons. I don't even know what type of pant they are. Whatever. These, I think they're size, I don't even, they're like this, one of the smallest sizes. But this waistband on these, no matter how, like I can wear them for 10 minutes and it is so stretched out and like hanging on me. And it's like you spend almost $120 or more sometimes on a pair of freaking spandex pants. And these are supposed to be such amazing pants. So, in my opinion, I'm wearing, I wear, oh, they're dirty right now, but, like, I get the colorful ones and, the, like, the black ones from Target, and they fit better than, and stay, like, spandexy longer than these do. So, just a heads up. If you guys haven't bought Lulu's, or if you do buy Lulu's and feel the same way, like, I'm so disappointed, like, so mad. Why did I spend that money? Oh, also some another brand I want to talk about, which I do actually love, but just something to be aware of when buying from them is Brandy Melville. Um, I found that store before it got huge, before it got popular. If you haven't heard of it, it's a really cute California esque style store. It's based in California. Sorry, this nail just broke and I had like some type of nail polish ruin all my nails and now they're all gross and I'm trying to let them breathe and they look disgusting and whatever. Anyways, so I bought like years and years ago and I went to the, the one on 3rd Street Promenade in California. You're probably wondering why if I live in Chicago do I get all this stuff from California and I'm always there. I am my, and that's because my sister lives out there and I go there like as much as I can every single year and I stay for a couple of weeks each time. So I actually was supposed to move there, but I didn't. I'm still here. But anyways, I'm getting off track. So Brandy, um, the thing about their brand is when you buy their, their um, just like plain shirts, like this is just a plain white, like flowy crop top, right? I've had it for a while, so like it's that's gonna make you guys think that that's why, or like I don't wash correctly. But no, I wash correctly, and. It happened like the third, fourth time I washed it. It just gets like very worn. Like just very, it's a little wrinkly because it's been in there, but like worn, like the texture. So, but their other stuff, like their, their sweaters and their skirts and all that stuff are great. But their plain tops like this, they're great for a little bit. And then they're kind of just like, I sleep in it now. Another thing um, I want to talk about is body suits. They're so in right now. I started wearing them years ago, um, but now that they're really, really in, Forever 21 has so many plain, like V-neck ones. They have ones that have like cutouts here. They have so many, and I think they were like eight dollars. So if you're looking for some cheap body suits, Forever 21. Okay, this is one of my fun must-haves. It's a kitty onesie. Um, and uh, if you guys have watched any of my videos, I might have mentioned him a couple, but he was definitely my last one. Or er, he was in my my uh, weekend fall fashion or fall outfits. And I'm obsessed with kitties, and even the hands have paws on them. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Got it at Target. It's amazing. And it's super duper warm. I don't know how people like actually sleep in these. Or attempt to. This one, I 
just found at the bottom. It was the last piece actually, it was like one of the last two pieces in the bin. And this is one of my baby shirts. Look at how cute it is. And, uh, and it says, Cuidando las cosas se pone difíciles, busco a mi abuela. And the reason it's in Spanish is, fun fact about me, I'm actually 50% Cuban. So my grandma gave me this one, obviously. It says abuela, which means grandma in Spanish. And I just, I keep it. Love it. because this is getting way hot in here. You know like when you're cleaning and you just like start overheating because you're moving around so much? Yeah, well, that's what I'm suffering from right now. Okay, so like I know this sounds weird, but this is like one of my favorite getting ready tops. It's just from Forever 21, and it was like five bucks probably. But, um, I mean, did I say forever? Forever 21. And it's just a crop top, and it has those buttons in the front. I just love it, because like, I like to, when I'm going out, out, like when I, like this is like when I'm getting ready to go out, out. I'm always like usually wearing black, so I like to see how my makeup looks with black. And literally, you just like, it, I don't know. That's weird, right? Like, that I have a favorite getting ready top. I don't know. I don't know. putting clothes away all right guys time to take down this tapestry wow my room looks so bare now and it turns out I don't have any nails so I'm not gonna be able to hang that stuff today, which is really annoying. Okay guys, I did it. I found nails and I had to ask my mom for help. So it took a little while, but I put them up. I have to print one more up there, so that's gonna bother me so much until I do, but look how cute. Now, it's time to take down these Christmas lights that are burnt out. So this was supposed to be a chit chat, clean my room with me, and we haven't really done a lot of chit chatting, so let's get into it.
I am 21 years old and like I said in my first video, my name is Brittany, I'm from Chicago and I want to be an, I want to be an interior designer and I'm in school, I'm doing online schooling for that right now to get my degree. Uh, my favorite place in the world, well not the world because I haven't really traveled out of the country besides Spain, so besides uh, I guess my favorite place in the states would be California and not just California the state I know everyone's like oh I want to move to California like blah 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 and like celebrities like it's not for any of those reasons I love Santa Monica Santa Monica is my favorite spot and I know that sounds crazy but I actually feel more comfortable more myself in that town than I do in my hometown and I just love it because it's a city but yet town vibe you're by the beach but yet it's warm, it's not too cold, and the shopping there is beautiful. The architecture, the design, everything about that city is just, I, I love it. And I, I've had people tell me when I go there with them, they're like, that are from here with me, and I'll, like, I'll go out there with them, and they're like, Brittany, you seem so different out here. It's not a bad way, just a way of like, you seem so like different. You seem so calm. I'm like, I am more calm like I am like I don't know how to describe it. it but it's just my favorite place I'm just rambling now and I was supposed to move there but it was financial things that I couldn't so I'm still here um my I will be turning 22 soon and I have two animals I'm a huge animal lover like huge 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 I said lover really really weird but I'm a huge animal lover um, cats, dogs, monkeys, bear, like anything, love them. Um, I have a, I have a cat and his name is Moose. He is the cutest thing in the world. He is in my weekend fall outfits video at the very end. If you want to see him, he's just the best. He acts like a dog and he is just a mama's boy. He acts like a baby and he's three now, I want to say. Yeah, he literally thinks that like I'm his mom. So, and then I have a dog and her name is Kaya and she is about two and a half. She's, uh, I adopted her and she is a dash hound. She is a Brindle color. She's a little wiener dog and the sweetest thing ever. She will just lick you to death. So I know two pets at 21, like it's a lot, but I love them and I don't regret them at all. I also have a boyfriend, his name's Andrew and I'm sure that you guys will meet him in a video at some point. He's actually on a boys trip in Florida, so that's not possible right now. But I'm sure you'll meet him soon. He's a great guy and yeah. What else? Um, I already told you I'm half Cuban. Uh, the other half is German. Well, I guess like 40% German, 20, like 10% Scottish, but um, basically German. So that's my makeup. Huh, my makeup. Get it? Haha. <laughs> Yeah, that was so 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 stupid. I think that's about it. So yeah, let's get back to cleaning. Uh, we're gonna do the lights now, which I think this is gonna be harder than putting those up. So wish me luck. Here are the new ones. Guys, I've had these since Christmas. That's how long I've been wanting to change these lights.
so that's what it ends up looking like, guys. See, and it goes around the room. I'll show you what it looks like when the lights are off. One sec. See how pretty that looks? It's just so luminous and calming. I feel super productive today. So guys, let's see what we did today. Look at that. All the clothes are gone. The room's all clean. The lights are working. And look how cute Moosey is on the bed. Moosey! Moosey! Hi! He's such a cutie. Okay, moving on. Bed's all nice. And then the biggest part was the tapestry. Like, look at how pretty those are. Yep, all nice and clean. Oh, and if you were wondering where Mr. Santa Claus went, I found a nice place for him upstairs in the extra rooms. So don't worry about him. He's all good. That was the last of everything. Now that the lights are up, we're all good. My room is clean. It's looking fresh. So thank you so much for cleaning and redecorating my room with me today. I would have been so bored if I did this alone for hours. And yes, it took hours. And I said I would tell you about the frames if you were interested in making them. So I bought each of those frames for about $6. I think I got them at Michael's, I want to say. Could have been Hobby Lobby, but um, I'm sure either of them have plain white matte frames. They were, yeah, $6, so it was around $18. And then I bought the cardstock. I want to say I, they're like... 50 60 cents a piece but I bought a bunch just because making sure it was in the center of the paper if the ink got screwed up because definitely get extras don't just get the amount that you're planning on framing and that piece that I got that's hanging up I got at home goods for $30 it was a really long time ago but they always carry so many great things for rooms and homes and yeah so definitely go check that out if you liked either of those and that's about it. If you have any questions about how I hung those, because if it looks confusing or anything in the video, just comment, message me on Snapchat or Instagram, and I will be sure to get back to you. So thank you so much for watching, and if you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please hit that little red button down there that says subscribe. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye!